What are the uses for mupirocin ointment USP2? Welcome, everyone. Today, we'll be delving into the important topic of mupirocin ointment USP2%, a widely used topical antibiotic. We'll discuss what it is, what it's used for, and how it can be beneficial in treating certain skin conditions. What is mupirocin ointment USP2%? Mupirocin ointment USP2% is a topical antibiotic cream that's often prescribed by healthcare providers. Mupirocin is the active ingredient, and the 2% refers to its concentration in the ointment. The USP stands for United States Pharmacopeia, which ensures the product meets the necessary standards for strength, quality, purity, and consistency. What are the uses of mupirocin ointment? Mupirocin ointment USP 2% has several uses primarily in the realm of skin conditions. 1. Impetigo. This is a common and highly contagious skin infection that mainly affects infants and children. Mupirocin is often used to treat this condition due to its ability to kill the bacteria causing impetigo. 2. Secondary skin infections. This ointment can be used to treat skin infections that have occurred as a secondary infection. This includes infections that have resulted from a primary skin condition, like eczema or psoriasis. 3. Staph or MRSA. Mupirocin can be used to eliminate staph bacteria, including MRSA, methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, from the nose and skin, which can help prevent spreading the bacteria to others. 4. Minor cuts, scratches, and burns. Mupirocin can also be used to prevent minor cuts, scratches, and burns from becoming infected. How should mupirocin ointment be used? Mupirocin is typically applied to the affected area one to three times daily, or as directed by your healthcare provider. Always clean and dry the affected skin area before applying the ointment. Remember, it's important to use it for the full amount of time prescribed, even if symptoms disappear after a few days. So that's a quick look at mupirocin ointment USP 2%. It's a versatile ointment used to treat a variety of skin conditions, particularly those caused by bacterial infections. However, it's always essential to follow your healthcare provider's advice regarding its use. We hope this information has been helpful to you. Stay healthy and take care.